So for the study phase, what we're going to do is to show them the idea of a cartoon strip. In the cartoon strip, what there's going to be are some people with speech bubbles, and this is going to represent where dialogue will appear. And in the bottom, there are these rectangular boxes where there will be descriptive things happening. So it will explain the actual situation that these people are in. So we get across the idea, first of all, that these are for speech and these are for description. And we can then show them a blank one of these cartoon strips and try to elicit from our students what could possibly the people be saying and in what actual situation are they in in order for them to say that. Once we've gone through that, we can move on to our first study activity and in the first study activity they'll be given a cartoon strip which either has the dialogue missing or it has the descriptions missing and the idea is that the students fill in the one that's not there. The second study activity can then switch that around so if the dialogue was missing this time they have to fill that in and so on and so forth. Remember for each of those activities that you need to demonstrate elicit a correct answer before you give out the material, then monitor, feedback and correct. For the final stage in the Activate, what we're going to then do is to put those two ideas from the study phase together and we're going to give them a cartoon strip which has neither the situational description of the language or any dialogue in the speech bubbles and the students are going to have to fill in both of those bits of information. Once they've done that, they can then read those back to us for their feedback and we can correct any common mistakes between them.